Losing your dog is the most traumatic experience any pet owner will ever go through. Take it from me, it's a practicing vet. I've seen it over and over again. It is absolutely heartrending. In the past, we relied on tags, microchips, good old leg work, and posters for tracking down our missing pets. Pretty traumatic stuff. But today, you know what? Technology's here, and things have improved dramatically. Now, just imagine your dog was escaping through the back fence, or perhaps someone's left the front gate open and your dog's gone. Well, we've got technology called a pet finder. This simply fits around the dog's neck, and it works like this. You can set up a perimeter of 40 or 80 metres. That more than covers the average suburban backyard. When the dog goes and crashes through this barrier, this little device starts to go off. So what do you do from then on in? Well, basically, you hold this down for a second, let it go, and then it starts to beep. And what do you do? Well, you follow the beep, don't you? And the louder no, the beep worry. gets, you know you're heading in the right direction. Honey, good girl, come to Dad, come on. Oh, you good girl. It really works. It really, really works. These days, all of us are pretty used to using a GPS tracking device on our phone or in our car. But wouldn't it be good if we could use a GPS tracking device like this on our dogs? So I thought we need to find someone to demonstrate this on. And I've got some friends at Better Homes and Gardens. Hello, mate. How are you, mate? I'm good, good to see you. you. But I'm not talking about Jason. I'm talking about Danny Danny. Oh, little Dan. So see this? Yeah, what is it? It's a battery-operated device which clips onto a collar and fits around Danny's neck. Like find my phone. Exactly sort of thing. That's awesome because that neighbour and a neighbour over the back have both recently lost their dogs. There's a main road, there's a golf course, there's parks. This you can track her and you can track her movements over the course of a day as well. You want to know where she goes visiting. Oh, that's good because I reckon Danny's been guilty of eating the cat food next door. So I'm going to find out if you are or not. It will even tell you that. Oh, fantastic. It's that accurate. All right, mate, would you like to test it? All right, why don't we play a game of hide and seek? Danny. I'm going to kidnap you. Oh, come on, let's go. One, We're out of here. two, let's go. 999, 1,000. Coming, ready or not. Hmm. I think they've stopped at the coffee shop, but I bet they're on their way to the park. Got a bus. Up here. Yeah. I can see him coming. You gotta go take it out of there. Find a way back home. Come on, go take it out of your dad. Go on. Good yeah. Hello, mate. Hey, how good was that, mate? That was fantastic. Worked like a charm, didn't I it? I think it's trained me as much as it's trained how the dog. Are you? The battery in here lasts for a good three days. Only takes a couple of hours to charge anyhow, so fantastic device. Well, I'll know if you get into the cat food, Danny, because I'll be watching. Puts a kibosh on the boyfriend visiting as well, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I might drop one in your pocket to see what you get up Catch to. Catch me first. <laughs> see you, mate. Alex, we did it. Another huge show. Before we let you go, uh, Billy, you were telling me, is a bit of an escape artist, isn't she? Yeah. I am going to give you this. It's the latest in pet GPS tracking systems. That's yours. What it does, it clips to Billy's collar. And if Billy goes missing, you can use a smartphone to log in and find her wherever she is on the streets, and it will track her down to within the nearest couple of metres. It is amazing, and if you live in a big property, you can also just see where they run. It's just brilliant. You can also do a geofence. So if you draw a fence line, if Billy escapes, it will notify you to your phone, and you'll be able to get the search party underway. So that should help you a little bit. We actually bought this from pettrekkingoz.com.au. You can buy them yourself too. Thank you again. Well, thank you. That is going to be invaluable and save plenty of poster time. Yes, the old poster run, <laughs> nailing them to the trees. I know it well. Yeah. Thanks for having us again. If you've missed anything on today's show, just head over to our website. It's animalextra.com. And remember, always buy free range and always adopt your animals from rescue centres. Bye for now. For many people, losing a pet really is like losing a part of the family. It can be a really distressing time. And besides putting up flyers and canvassing the neighbourhood and handing out photos of 
<laughs> you're part of the family. It can be a really distressing time. And besides putting up flyers and canvassing the neighbourhood and handing out photos of <sighs> your loved pet, there's not much you can do once a pet has escaped. But that could be about to change. Here's Lachlan Forsyth with a new device dreamed up by an Auckland schoolboy. <laughs> Meet Cherry, a four-year-old, slightly overweight beagle. And Matt Elwood, a 17-year-old high school student. First dreamed up by an Auckland schoolboy. Meet Cherry, a four-year-old, slightly overweight beagle. And Matt Elwood, a 17-year-old high school student. Slightly overweight beagle. And Matt Elwood, a 17-year-old high school student. Finally, there's Eric Lynn from Lintech Tracking Solutions. They all play a part in this story. You'll meet them all soon. But first, back to Matt and his motivation for building a website for lost and found pets. My mate's pet cat went missing and she was really distressed and she had no way of finding it. So it's more just helping those people that have lost their pets and are beside themselves. Don't worry, you'll meet them all soon. But first, back to Matt and his motivation for building a website for lost and found pets. My mate's pet cat went missing and she was really distressed and she had no way of finding it. So it's more just helping those people that have lost their pets and are beside themselves because pets are man's best friend. Dogs are man's best friend. So if they lose their best friend, you want to do everything in your power to get them back. Matt Chris. My mate's pet cat went missing and she was really distressed and she had no way of finding it. So it's more just helping those people that have lost their pets and are beside themselves because pets are man's best friend. Dogs are man's best friend. So if they lose their best friend, you want to do everything in your power to get them back. Matt created this site, Alpha Pets. Since he built it, there have been around 800 listings. But there's one ongoing... ...beside themselves because pets are man's best friend. Dogs are man's best friend. So if they lose their best friend, you want to do everything in your power to get them back. Matt created this site, Alpha Pets. Since he built it, there have been around 800 listings. But there's one... Matt created this site, Alpha Pets. Since he built it, there have been around 800 listings. But there's one ongoing problem. At the end of the day, pet website, you've really lost your pet. You, you can't really find... One ongoing problem. At the end of the day, pet website, you've really lost your pet. You, you can't really find it miraculously, so I got all these emails saying, what else can we do? There's nothing. Preventative is really the only way you can do it. Putting a big fence around, really find it miraculously, so I got all these emails saying, what else can we do? There's nothing. Preventative is really the only way you can do it. Putting a big fence around, but we thought, what else can we do? That's where Cherry comes back in, or more specific. Fence around, but we thought, what else can we do? That's where Cherry comes back in, or, more specifically, the orange device around her neck. This colourful collar is actually a GPS tracker. If Cherry has this on, you can tell us exactly where Cherry might go, regardless yeah. of where she goes. Yeah, she, she's in the middle of... Test tracker. If Cherry has this on, you can tell us exactly where Cherry might go, regardless yeah. of where she goes. Yeah, she, if she's in the middle of Te Amutu, we'll be able to find her. And, uh... Today, Cherry's going to demonstrate how it works. Cherry is somewhere at the park here, in front of us. The collar places her location on a map you can access on your phone or computer. And a street view on the screen can show exactly where she is. It's very clever technology, thanks to Eric and his company. Park here, in front of us. The collar places her location on a map you can access on your phone or computer and a street view on the screen can show exactly where she is. It's very clever technology, thanks to Eric and his company. And you can do this as many times as you want, and it records that location into your phone as well, so if you do it a lot, it'll actually tell you where your dog or cat normally go. And you can do this as many times as you want, and it records that location into your phone as well, so if you do it a lot, it'll actually tell you where your dog or cat normally go. So the product's simple, it's, it's, you put a tracker on the collar of the dog and you download an application from uh, either Google or iPhone and uh, with that application you basically add that tracker onto your phone and by the press of a button it will actually update via GPS and GSM the location of the, of the uh, tracker or wherever the dog is. But basically the app is a Google Map um, link, so you basically have this. 
So you have a Google map. All you have to do is zoom in and you can get the location. So in this case, you see on this road, it's Aaron Roy Drive. And you can go satellite view, especially if you're on that road and you're not sure which building or tree they might be in. So you zoom in again. And you'll see all these buildings here, all these cars. So you know your dog is probably around here somewhere. If you're still not sure, you could drag this little person here, which is really just street view. And we've integrated street view into this because now you can actually see the driveway, the houses, and a picture of your dog. And with this, you can actually get an idea of where your dog might be sniffing around them. And who do you think it will appeal to? Uh, literally any pet owners that love their pets or have pets that actually walk out or, or jump over the fence. And there's a lot in New Zealand, if you, especially if you Google you know, how much pets per year are reported missing. Even if you want to put these in, in your kids' bags, uh, same idea, you, your kids, you can make sure your kids went to school in, on time, <laughs> right? make sure they've left school, or if they're not supposed to go out of town, uh, and they do, and uh, so it's anything really. Yes, that was pretty impressive. Nera Fana, I'm standing by with Matt Al Alwood, who is a young inventor. He's got a device that is, helps track your pets. Take a look at this. What if my dog went missing? I know that I would be hunting every day, all day, for her. So that's really what started it. So if you asked me a year ago, or a year and a half ago, whether I'd be doing this, I would be like, no. I'll be just at school, but sort of one email out of the blue, just as like in Google, it's like, let's send an email, has caused all this. And it's sort of like, what if I didn't? I would be so gutted. Matt one day came to us and said he wanted to uh, sell trackers on, on his website. And I was thinking, wow, this is a 70 years old boy trying to do business. That's amazing. You know, a few months later, we were making this new tracking device and he was telling us that it would be great if um, the pets can tell the owner when they move out of the house. Basically, we, this will be on the uh, uh, Google app market. And with this application, you can draw a circle around your house. The uh, application tells tell you when your pet moves out of the house. And uh, of course, you can use this application to track it, and it'll tell you when the tracker is out of battery, needs charging, and everything as well. And there you are, there's your dog. So it's actually going to be approved by SBC, and we're going to actually donate to SBC at the same time. And uh, I actually just got back from Australia, and I've been talking to a lot of the big, uh, big retailers there. And uh, so it's actually going to go quite big in Australasia. If we get the demand and we get the purchases, we'll be able to further investigate the technologies and get it smaller, get it lasting longer, getting the battery to last longer. It's all about whether you want to push yourself to do it, whether you have the motivation. Awesome stuff there. This is Matt Elwood, the young inventor. He has the device in front of you. There it is, the device. So talk to us about it. It's, it's in the collar, isn't it? Yep, it's in there and it has a SIM card, so it connects to the Vodafone or Two Degrees network. And it sends it via text to your cell phone if you ever lose your pet, and it has a GPS coordinates in it. Excellent. So it's a great little device to keep a tab on your tabby. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So when, when can we buy it? When can we purchase it? Is it available it's commercially? Available. It's available now on alphapets.co.nz for a limited time. We've got a limited stock there. But in the future, we should have animates and pet shops around the country selling it. So look out for that when it comes out. But it would be fair to say, Matt, that it's not the money that drives you, isn't it? You've got a real passion for inventing. Yeah, it's all sparked off the Alpha Pets website, which has lots of lost and found pet listings. And you saw like, how many people have lost their pets. And if we can make it easier for them to find their pets, that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Now, um, in terms of young stars, there are some other young inventors that will be watching tonight, tonight's Matariki Magic. What's your words of advice to them? Just do it. Don't take no for an answer. Just keep emailing, keep talking, keep, just be persistent. Don't ever give up. And eventually you will succeed and get there. Fantastic words of advice. Kia ora to you. That's Matt Elwood, everybody. Oh my, to Bucky Bucky. <laughs>